Did you see the Dream Chats interview? Did you see the Dream Chats interview? Did you see the Dream Chats interview before they took it down? He, he had yeah. an interview and he was talking about a whole bunch of Bro, fucking crazy shit. He just shit. Had, but he had a Dream Chats interview and he said that about... That always coming out with some crazy down. shit though, it, my boy. It went down. They took it down. But check this out though. He was saying... He was basically saying that the Jewish media... Right, is controlling a lot of people and they have the most power right now. And anytime that anybody critiques the Jewish media, because Jews Drake is a Jew. The Jews, That's why the he's Jews, so believe it or not, they control they have money. the whole world. They control everything. They position themselves to be in a position of power. And the reason why they position themselves is because a long time ago, right, most of the uh, uh civilization converted to Christianity. Christianity cannot do bets, cannot do brides, and they cannot do divorces. We don't do divorces. So you can't pay a, a Christian to do a divorce in those days. That's how it was. So, uh, and you cannot, and, and as a Christian, you got to let somebody borrow money without getting interest back. It's, it can't be financial. You have to do it like for I godly love, reasons. Yeah, yes. So the Jews took advantage of this, and what they did is they started charging people to borrow money. Interest. And then they started also uh, doing divorces for people with paid things. So then they started taking it because they don't believe in Jesus Christ. So a whole New Testament they didn't believe in. So that adapted them to learn the money-making strategies that we weren't able to do because of our faith. And when I mean me, I mean like Christians and shit, right? So then the Jews started learning how to how to manipulate money and they started learning how to use money to their advantage. So then that's since, why since that's why time, that's one of the reasons why Hitler always went against them. Because if you notice Jews back in the days in Hitler's time, they were always owners of shops. Yeah, was because they ago. were very intelligent because they had a lot of money. They were always owners of shops and they were always people that uh have wealth. They never worked for nobody else. And the other thing is um uh, about them, if they've always been looked at to be They've always been persecuted through history, which made them very smart because they're very aware. It's like if you're they're very cautious. It's almost like us, Paranoid. right? When we were growing up in Northern California, we were very, very crazy. Why? Because there was so many people trying to attack us, right? So the Jews, um, through history, were persecuted to the point that they got so fucking smart that they they, they literally you they did a test on all human beings and the Jewish people. You have to be the smartest. Are a little smarter than everybody nah. else. So Google it. Google it. Nah, Google be bullshit. Nah, okay, Google think you have some I crazy ass shit. You have a cough. That okay. is fucking crazy. Fam. I'm telling you the truth. So Jews have evolved through history because they're always scared of their of people. Try, look at what happened with Hitler. He tried to kill all of them. Mm -hmm. So they've all evolved to be on point. A little bit more paranoid. More paranoid and more skills with money. So they. So as a, as us, I'm sure none of us, me personally, and I know you, and I know yeah. you for sure, yeah. our families never taught us how to use money correctly. Mm -hmm. School is not meant to teach you how to use money. School, public schools, was invented by a guy called DJ Rockefeller. Now, I mean, uh, 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 yeah, Rockefeller, the, the nah. Rockefeller family. Do you know why he invented public schools? He literally said this. Employees. He said it in one of his quotes. Yes. He said, I am not, he put, he funded so much money because he was having a hard time finding good employees and knew how to read and write and take orders correctly. So what he did is he ended up taking all his money, a bunch of it, and donating it to a government schools. so that they could have public schools so that he could have a hell of workers so that they could work for him. And he even said it. I'm not trying to have public schools for entrepreneurs. I'm not trying to have, he's this quote, for entrepreneurs, business owners, or uh, people that are try, trying to have employees and workers, and workforce. And that's why in schools they don't teach Rock, you about finance. That's why in school they don't teach you about financial literacy. Mm -hmm. They don't teach you about anything about finances, how to become a business owner or anything. They teach mm -hmm. you how to read and write. And when you go to school, what does your family tell you? Hey, I'll go to school so you can get a good job. That's how you can be a good business owner. Be get a good job. So those are the type of things that Rockefeller he literally created public schools. Yeah, one of one of the mm -hmm. one of the quotes Rockefeller said was, um, "I'd rather make a hundred uh, one percent out of a hundred employees than make a hundred percent of just one employee." Basically, saying he's thinking on a massive scale. He's not thinking on like a small. So my point yes. about Rockefeller, right? He wanted employees. Is, um, he's the one that created public schools. He donated yeah, so I much money to create public schools. And that's for that reason. Mm. And the reason we're even talking about this is because um, the the Jews, right? Oh, so we're going about what he said. Damn, I, I got lost in the sauce. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you made the rap I had a point right here. But Kanye West is basically ranting on about the Jews, and they have changed this to be um, basically compla complacent and be Com fucking workers. Is what Rockefeller wanted but, the majority of people. But to the, do. Other, the the Jews didn't want that. They didn't want to. They don't want to be complacent. They the wanted Jews to be their own never, bosses. No, no, no. I'm talking about us. That's why when you send a kid to school, 
you're really sending him to this position you're of being... You're sending him to be a worker or yes. to be um And, and, and Rockefeller is the one that made worker. him. So that's the side, Jews. Now, what's happened with the Jews is they've made themselves of the paranoia of what happened with Hitler, the top in every industry. They control the media. They control yeah. Hollywood. They control everything. So whenever you say anything mm-hmm. against them, so Kanye West is a fucking, uh, I think he said he was $11 billion is what he has now. He's, he's uh, literally, he only had three hold on, billion. hold on. No, he's literally the richest black man. Hold on, let me go with Hold on, hold on, bro. He's literally the richest black man to ever live in history right now. Now, I would say he was crazy if he wasn't the richest black man. Now, imagine if you were the richest Mexican to ever live. You would feel like you have some type of a pride on you. Why would he say these crazy... You know he got his fucking concerts taken down. His clothing line, Balenciaga, just took him off. Everything is taking this thing off. Why, if you're a billionaire, 11 bi- the richest black guy that ever lived, four, why... Four billion. Why yeah. he said eleven billion, but you know Forrest yeah. List be bullshitting a lot too. Though they say he didn't even have one billion when he had a billion already. So Forrest List be hating. But now my point is this: mm. why Take would that. why would um a, a a rich ass nigga? He even said himself, I could just get a fucking island and I could disappear for the rest of my life and I won't even fuck with none of y'all. But the reason I'm doing this and I'm risking my, all my fucking money is so that you motherfuckers can know what's going on for real. And and then he said, and if they kill me, which I'm sure they're gonna try to kill me. Nigga, you know what it was for because I'm telling y'all motherfuckers the truth. The Jews.